Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice math problem to find the value of x and y? Let's represent 3 raised to power x with a letter. So let m be equals to 3 raised to power x, then n be equals to 3 raised to power y. Then let's this be equation 1 and this equation 2. Then equation 1 there can now become m minus n equals to 3. Let this be equation 3. And also from equation 2, what we have there, which is 3 raised to power x plus y. On the law of indices, when we separate this, we have 3 raised to power x times 3 raised to power y. Which implies that here, and this is equal to 3 here, from what we have, then it implies we have m times n equals to 3. And let this be equation 4. Then from equation 3 also, when we make m the subject, we take minus n to this side. Then m will now be equals to 3 plus n. Then we can substitute this now in equation 4. That this equation 4 will now become 3 plus n. Then multiply by n now equals to 3. And from here, when n open these brackets, we have 3n plus n square equals to 3 then rearranging then bringing everything to one side here we have n square plus 3n then minus 3 here equals to 0 from here which implies this is a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to minus 3 then when we solve using the formula n equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then here yeah, n will now be equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 3 then over 2 times 1 which implies n is equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square here we have 9 then minus times minus that's plus that's plus 12 there and then over 2 then this becomes n equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 21 here then over 2 that is we have two values of n the first one we have n equals to minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 and the second value of n we have minus 3 minus root 21 over 2 then to get the corresponding values of m here, yeah, let's recall that m equals to 3 plus n. That is, here yeah, on this side, we have m to be equals to 3 plus n, that's t3 minus. 3 plus root 21 over 2 from here. And we can bring this fraction together as one from here. The SEM is 2. And we have 2 here. Then two, 1 into that is 2 times 3, that is 6. Then minus here, we have 3 plus root 21 here. Which implies that what we have here, we have m now equals to 6 minus 3, that's 3, plus root 21 over 2 from here. 
like this we have the solution m comma n here will then be equals to we have m to be 3 plus root 21 over 2 n comma we have n to be minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 so we have minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 then also from the second case here using this relation as well to get m then m here will also be 3 then plus this which is minus 3 minus root 21 then over 2 from here also bringing this together as one well. sm is 2 as well then we have also 6 minus 3 then minus root 21 as m which implies m is 3 minus root 21 then over 2 so for this second case here we have m comma n to be equals to 3 minus root 21 over 2 then comma minus 3 minus root 21 over 2 then we have these two cases then when we use this with what we have recall that we represented m as 3 raised to power x and we represented n as 3 raised to power y then from the case 1 here and this is case 2 here so let's use the first case from the case 1 there when we have m to be equals to 3 plus root 21 over 2 and we have n to be minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 then we can substitute this that means we have 3 raised to power x now that this m will now be equals to 3 plus root 21 over 2 and also n which is 3 raised to power y will then be minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 then to solve for x and y here you can take the log on both sides and here we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log here we have 3 plus 21 over 2 from here and similarly here we also take the log on both sides we have log 3 raised to power y then equals to log into bracket minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 and here applying the law of logarithm the power law x log 3 from here now will then be equals to log into bracket 3 plus root 21 over 2 from here and here divide both sides by log 3 that is here also by log 3 then this cancel out we have x now equals to then from here when we have log a over log b that's change of base here we can write this as log a to base b so here this is now same thing as log 3 plus root 21 over 2 then to base 3 from here so we have the value of x on this side then also when we apply the same thing here and we apply the law of log reading then we have y now to be equals to log into bracket minus 3 plus root 21 over 2 then to base 3 from here so we have the value of x and y here then 
for the second case, which is m equals to 3 minus root 21 over 2, and uh, n equals to minus 3 minus root 21 over 2. And from here, since m is 3 raised to power x, and this is equals to 3 minus 21 over 2, and also n is 3 raised to power y, which is equals to minus 3 minus root 21 over 2. Then, a closer look at this, we have this side to be positive that is greater than 0 from here. And this side is less than 0, that's negative. So it implies there won't be a resolution. So no resolution on this side. Then also here, this is also positive, greater than 0. And this is obviously negative as well, less than 0. So also, we have no resolution on this side as well, which implies that the resolution we have here are from the first case, which are what we have x equals to log 3 plus 21 over 2 base 3, and y equals to log minus 3 plus 21 over 2 base 3. And thank you for joining us. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and see you next class. And bye for now.